Hey there, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel and today I'm going to be sharing a bunch of college essentials that you'll need if you plan on living in the dorms. Also, huge shout out to my pal Maddie for letting me film in her backyard. Love you Maddie! So, the first essential, extension cords. Extension cords. That's really hard to say with the lisp, but they are super important. These are crucial because like I know in my dorm building all the bedrooms only had two outlets, one per person, and then the desk also had an outlet but that's like basically three plugs and you're gonna need more. Next you'll need command strips and hooks. Most college dorms don't let you hang anything like with the nail. I'll leave a list right here of ideas of things that you can hang with command strips and hooks. Next, a shower caddy. Super important unless like maybe you only use like one soap and like one shampoo, but it just makes everything easier like when you're going to the bathroom so you have like your toothbrush, toothpaste, and everything that you need to take a shower in or like get ready in the morning or at night. I got a super cheap mesh one from Target that was like seven bucks and it lasted the entire semester. So don't feel like you have to spend like $30 on the nicest one. A laundry bag or basket. So my roommate had a basket and I had a bag. I preferred the bag personally because it was like a backpack and you just carry it around. If you don't like have any dirty clothes because you just finished your laundry, you can easily tuck it away. But my roommate had a basket so she couldn't fold her basket or anything and it was just in the room at all times. Okay, this might be a weird one. Maybe it's because I'm handy manny, but I recommend a screwdriver. I use my screwdriver so much this semester. I don't know why, but you always need a screwdriver. You never know when you need one, and then when you do need it, you have it. Or if someone cute down the hall needs one, there you are. You know, it's kind of like, like, oh, can I borrow some sugar? Instead, can I borrow your screwdriver? Okay, I'm done. Medicine. Oh. My roommate didn't have medicine and I saved her life with my Mucinex. So you're gonna wanna bring medicine, just make sure it's like whatever medicine you like use at home. And it's really helpful, especially if you're going to live in the dorms and you won't have a car because the worst thing you want is to wake up in the morning one day and you're feeling sick and then you have to like go across campus to like a campus store or like use DoorDash or something to order medicine. So it's nice if you just come to college with medicine, Tylenol, Advil, whatever things you want to use, and as well as a first aid kit. Again, maybe not everyone needs a first aid kit. I get hurt a lot, so first aid kits are very useful. The next things you'll want to bring are either the hanging closet organizers or hangers. I personally just had a bunch of hangers because I didn't think of the organizer thing, but I saw a bunch of other people's closets and they stopped a lot of stuff in those like hanging organizers and it worked out for them. Obviously it depends on if you prefer to hang or fold your clothes because you have to fold your clothes if they're gonna work in the closet organizer. But it's really useful and helps keep you organized. So you're gonna wanna bring two sets of sheets and towels. So I brought like five towels, I think like three bath towels and two beach towels because I knew I was gonna go to the beach a lot for my surf class and I personally like using fresh towels so I brought three but the only thing with that is it takes up a lot of space and you have to deal with like washing and drying them all the time so it's better if you just bring two. My roommate had two and she was fine. The next thing you'll want to bring is either a small mirror or like a full body mirror um, but you might want to wait until you move into your dorm so you can see like where you can put it and how big like your mirror can be. Super helpful especially like if you wear makeup and stuff. Shower shoes, Crocs, Burks, rainbows, flip flops, whatever you want. Make sure you have the shower shoes. It's college, okay? So if you can get shower shoes, just get like super cheap. Old Navy probably has like really, really cheap like flip flops, especially like now it's the end of summer. So everyone's like moving into their fall clothes. You can find shower shoes. Um, I personally use flip flops because I like to walk around barefoot. So you gotta like wash your feet and easier with flip flops. The next thing, mattress topper and protector. Honestly, the protector depends on what type of mattresses are used at your school. A mattress topper, the mattresses aren't that comfortable. Not gonna lie, I didn't have a mattress topper and my roommate didn't, but we both only lived in the dorms for one semester. But this year, I'm definitely gonna get a mattress topper because like after a while, like when you go back home and then come back, your back starts hurting. <laughs> Extra long chargers, this is an essential because like the dorm rooms, yeah, they're small, but like where the outlet is might be super far from your bed, might be super far from your desk. So it just makes life easier if you have like extra long chargers. Apple sells them, you can find some on Amazon. If you're gonna have a roommate, headphones, AirPods, earphones, whatever, those are all super helpful because you know, you don't wanna be that roommate that's like listening to your TikTok videos super loud while your roommate's doing homework or trying to sleep. 
Maybe not every college dorm will allow this, but I definitely recommend a water heater or a Keurig. I drink tea a lot and my roommate makes ramen a lot and it was just really helpful to have a water heater because like our refrigerator was too small for her ramen bowls and she likes like the ones that are meant to make on a stove so you can't really make them in a microwave. Well, you can, but it's, it's not the same. You use hot water for a lot of things when you don't think about it, and the sink water, it's not hot enough. This is an essential I've never seen anyone talk about, chip bag clips. Super important, because you're gonna eat snacks regardless. Like, I don't care what you say, you're gonna need snacks and you're gonna need a chip bag holder unless you want your snacks to get stale. I know some people say not to bring these, but I recommend bringing one cup one plate and one bowl, maybe two of each. I brought like multiple because I'm weird, but like honestly, bringing paper plates one takes up more space because like you have a big stack of plates, you know, p plates, bowls and all of that stuff and save the planet. Use a reusable plate, bowl and cup. Target has like super cheap ones for like 50 cents, maybe 30 cents, I don't know, but I know they're really inexpensive. So definitely go to your local Target and get some bowls. I recommend getting a bathrobe. I personally like, I don't know, I just cannot hold a towel around me for my the life of me. But if you can, then you're good, you're solid. For me personally, I liked having a robe and it had pockets, I could put my phone in there. Also, I'm gonna link a bunch of the things that I got for my dorms down below. So if you want the exact robe that I have, let me know. It's gonna be down there in the description box. Also, cleaning supplies like Lysol and wipes. Like when you first move in, you kind of want to wipe everything down. Like not only because of COVID, but just like, I know most colleges, the dorms are used during summer. And even if they're not, there's bugs and stuff. Like wipe it down and it's dusty. I have asthma, dust makes me die. So bring them. Also, if you're gonna bring like dishes, you want dish soap or you can use regular soap, whatever you want. But like bring a little scrubber. This is a big one. Buy a toothbrush cover. Oh, oh, I don't want to talk about it, but I will. Dude, the amount of times that my toothbrush fell on the floor, like, uh, on the bathroom, on the bathroom floor, in our bathroom floor was disgusting. Things like that gross me out because there's hair. Oh, I don't want to talk about it. Basically, I lost a lot of toothbrushes. I don't know, rinsing is not enough for me. And I know earlier I talked about sustainability, and I'm really sorry to my sustainable besties that I know I'm awful, but yeah. Buy a toothbrush cover. Organizers for everything you own. Unless it's gonna cause clutter or you're just not like an organizer type of person. But if you like being organized, get things to organize your jewelry, your makeup, your trinkets, your rings, you know. A Brita water filter. I know everyone raves about them, but personally for me, I didn't have one, my roommate didn't have one, everyone in my suite didn't have one. I will say that our dorm building had like the water filter thing where you put your water bottle and it fills it up. If your dorm doesn't have that, then maybe a Brita water filter will be helpful. And also our fridge was like freakishly small, so I don't think we would have fit a water filter under there. I know people that got them and like used them for like their first month because your first month of school, like that's when you're super on top of everything, you have a routine and everything. But then once you've like lived in, school for a little longer, you settle in, your, your whole routine, psh, gone. Decorations, lights, posters, pillows, these aren't super necessary. I did have some decor, my roommate didn't, and it didn't like mess up anything in our room. Our room still looked beautiful, our room still looked awesome. So it's totally a personal preference, but don't stress about it. Like don't stress about having the cutest dorm room ever, even though I was stressed about it, but like it's totally okay. Like you can wait until like, a few months, like until you're like living in there for a little bit to decorate your room. There's no shame in that. Another thing you might wanna bring, but don't necessarily have to is a lock. This depends on like what things you're bringing and who your roommate is, if you know your roommate. Thankfully, I had an awesome roommate. That's why I keep mentioning her because like we were both so different in terms of the things we brought. So I have a lot of insight and she was awesome. We both had a lot of expensive things for our majors, but we're also both good people that would never steal. So we didn't have to worry about that. But if you think you might have to worry about that, definitely bring a lock. We had like some drawers that had locks, so you were able to lock stuff. And the closet, you were able to lock that too. 
a drying rack. I didn't have one, but my roommate had one because she had a lot of like silk clothing items and just items she didn't want to put in the dryer slash couldn't. So the drying rack was helpful and I've also used it for my wetsuit one time. Super helpful. I might get one next semester, but if you don't think you'll ever like air dry anything, then it's not necessary. A lint roller. I hate lint so much. So if you hate lint too, bring a lint roller so you have it ready on deck because the worst thing ever is putting an outfit on for class and realizing you don't have a lint roller. Another thing I see other people mentioning is a utility cart. I got like a three drawer system because Target had this three drawer system. They were kind of ugly, but 20 bucks and it worked just fine. But again, wait until you see your dorm room, see how all of your stuff fits, and then start buying like the extra furniture stuff. Another thing that's super useful, but not necessary, a vacuum. My bestie, Danielle down the hall, she had a vacuum and I used it all the, oh my God. I used her vacuum and Ruth's va vacuum all the time because um, our building had carpet and the carpet would look so, like, literally the smallest little piece of paper would always be on the floor. So get a vacuum, but again, wait until you see your dorm, wait until you live in it for a little bit to see if you actually need a vacuum or not. If you have hardwood floors, you might not need a vacuum. Maybe get like a Swiffer thing. A steamer or an iron with an ironing board. Also make sure that your school allows this. I personally hate when my clothes are wrinkled, so if you do too then get this. Something that's really helpful is an end of bed storage thing. Like, a, I'll, I'll enter a picture here, but that's super helpful. I also like how, cause you can like just put a bunch of things in it, but it's not something that takes up a whole bunch of space. It's just like at the end of your bed. I ended up putting it at the end of my like desk chair that the school provides and it worked out just fine. Now, the last item on this list will be a shoe rack. I brought my shoe rack because I brought a lot of shoes. I didn't buy one specifically for school, but I brought the one that I use at home and it was really helpful, but I feel like it did take up a lot of space. Definitely wait until you're living in the dorm and like have all your stuff organized. My shoes were just like all over the place and I hated how it looked. So I brought my like shoe rack. So that's it for my college dorm essentials. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know what other college videos you want me to do because I'm going to start pumping them out. But I hope you have a great day and I'm sending good vibes your way. Oh.